here today to um, show you the awareness of the lead. Um, okay, go again. Um, we're here to educate and show awareness of the lead problem here in the Evansville area. The issue. Um, so obviously we want to raise awareness for Evansville in this area. And by this, we want to educate the problem area. We want to um, allow access to the website, the Vanderbilt County website. We want to allow that access to be easier for um, people to do that. And along with that, we want to make it a more social friendly um, website so it would just run more smoothly. And Caitlin is going to show you. Okay, thank you, Dream Killer. So the current solution about the awareness of lead within our community um, is through flyers and books through the Vandenberg Health Department. They said that they have these resources and they distributed them out um, at health events and such. But we want to take it one step further and um, reamp their website because their website as well is lacking. They have um, a um, brochure and other um, insightful information, but this can be taken further with reaching out to um, enhance social media through Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and other sources, and also links to sites that tell families about what type of remediation they need to do if they have lead in their environment, um, the costs, um, and other health procedures that they can do and be exposed to to remove the harmfulness of lead in their environment. So in a com competitive advantage to this is Vandenberg Health Department does have a website. They do have that access. They are informing the community, uh, but we once again want to um, take that to a whole new level. We want to uh, update it by incorporating some of the USI CSI students who do web design. Uh, we really want to enhance their site to pull in people within our community to learn about the issues of lead and what to do. Uh, the value of this is it will create a medium, a website, um, where every, and for anything that you need uh, for the education of lead is there at their disposal. All information is needed. It will be social media friendly and also um, this will immediate the, um, have immediate mediation for mothers and kids who find out that they are in problem areas with high lead and they can go to the site and quickly click on links and get information about how to um, st how to be educated on that. And I'm going to transfer it to Mbadi to... Okay, so the status quo of what's been de being done right now is just these brochures and scan, uh, flyers have been scanned, put on the website, and we want to up, up that ante and um, allow different companies who offer products that allow simple remediation um, to like advertise on this website. That could be additional revenue for the funding of this, and um, the the furthest point we would like to take it is allowing interactive social media where. Um, you know the younger generation can get involved and everything and um, this will allow our target um, families you know the families in the 25 to 35 range of adulthood um, to be maximizing you know whenever they can learn about um, lead and getting the right eyeballs on there so uh, Vakit Dinko is the professor uh, that we'd like to partner with and use his students to create the updates for this website. And um, in conclusion, the awareness for lead has limited value. It has very minimal costs uh, with the setup that we're doing. And letting people know um, is a lot better than them not knowing about the dangers of lead. Thank you. Thanks.